The Mississippi Attorney General's office is cracking down on the Rankin Hines Levy Board and is expected to issue an opinion stating that the board is a state agency. As such, the board would be required to file records with the State Department of Archives and History, have its budget approved by the legislature, and submit its engineers and other employees to state personnel board oversight. For years, the Levy Board has existed without a phone number or a website and has spent tax dollars under the radar. Over the past several months, the board has drawn attention to itself as controversy over a flood control plan by the Army Corps of Engineers and the Two Lakes plan has progressed. Board Attorney Trudy Allen addressed the board Monday at Flowood City Hall. Allen said the State Department of Archives and History has asked the Attorney General's office to offer an opinion on whether or not the board is a state agency. The department cited the Secretary of State's Blue Book, which lists the board as such. Allen also said the State Attorney General has agreed to hold its opinion and allow the board to offer its input. Although the statute says that any district created by the Urban Flood Control Act shall be a state agency, Allen said she believes that constitutionally that may not be possible. Allen asked the board for time to do research for an opinion on the board's behalf. If the board didn't submit an opinion, Allen said she believed the Attorney General would definitely find that the levy board is a state agency. Board Chairman Billy Orr said, I think sometimes you get forgiveness better than you get permission, and that becoming a state agency would make things complicated. Richland Mayor and Board Member Mark Scarborough said the statute establishing the board said it was a political subdivision of the state of Mississippi and not a state agency. The board voted unanimously to permit Allen to study the issue. The board will meet again in two weeks for further discussion. Amy McCullough, MBJ-TV.